Hi, I'm Dr. Sam Blackwood, Peak Nutrition and Weight Loss Clinic. I wanted to talk to you for a moment about fentermine and other appetite suppressants and a commonly asked question which is, will I become tolerant to fentermine? Will it no longer be effective and what can I do about it? Will I then only become hungry again to regain the weight that I lost? First, I'd like to start by saying fentermine and other appetite suppressants like it, diphopropion, fenametrazine, they're a tool. They're not the cure. There's no substitute for really understanding the basics of nutrition, for understanding the importance of exercise, for understanding the cognitive behavioral components that lead to obesity and tend to make it recur. That's why we really stress the importance of registered dietitians, we stress the importance of exercise, we stress the importance of a comprehensive program. Having said that, I think it's important also to note that phenamine is a sympathomimetic. What does this mean? It works in the central uh, portion of the brain at the hypothalamus, at the appetite center, to go ahead and suppress hunger. Now, with any of these appetite suppressants over time, a person may notice some degree a reduction in how effective it feels in how hungry they are. But what they tend to maintain is a sense of getting full sooner than they would if they weren't taking it. And of course, this has ongoing benefit in helping them reduce their portion size. It's important for them to learn, though, as they're losing the weight, what are proper portion size. So when they stop the phenamine, they can continue to keep that empowerment going of controlling portion size. I also tell people obesity is a chronic disease. It's not like you lose the weight and never have to struggle with it again. So what does this mean? If a person notices five pound weight regain, we tell them, ask themselves, what am I doing differently than I was doing when I was successful? Try to re-employ those tools, such as calorie counting, back to amount of calories they need to lose the weight again, such as exercise, such as eating breakfast. Are you getting protein with your breakfast? These are a few of the things that they need to remember. If all that fails and five pounds becomes 10 pounds weight regain, we tell folks, get back into the clinic. Let's get on it right away. Don't wait for it to get out of control. And it's a lot easier to deal with 10 pound weight regain than it is to deal with 20, 30, or 40. People who remember to do this, they don't have to be shackled by obesity. They can control it like they would any other disease. What have you got to lose?